Hey guys, Mars Singing here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today, we are going to be taking a look at a team that was, once upon a time, one of my favourite category teams in the game. And that is the Super Saiyan 3 team. So, the Super Saiyan 3 team uh, obviously has received a minor buff with the EZA for Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Um, obviously, with his EZA, his Super Saiyan 3 leader skill becomes a full 170 across the board. Now, he was always the best Super Saiyan 3 lead. The Int Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku that transforms, I think his leader skill is only 150% across the board. But when he came out, obviously Super Saiyan 3 Bardock was starting to be a bit outdated. So that Goku, for the slightly harder content that we were then getting that Goku was arguably the better leader for the team because he was just a better unit than Bardock. But obviously now Bardock has his easy A, he provides a ton of support. On a Super Saiyan 3 team, he's obviously always going to be getting his additional super. The only problem is how has the rest of the team like aged with him? And you'll see that for most of the team, we are using the heroes units because the easy A's for this Goku and then this Vegeta, whilst he's not particularly great, these are two of the newest Super Saiyan 3 units that we actually have in the game. And one of the only Dokkan Fest ones that we have that is relatively recent is the Super Saiyan 2 Goku that transforms. So not even starting off as a Super Saiyan 3. So um, do I want to get you floated off? I think I will keep the Goku around for now, actually. So let's do this for you. Um... And then we can just grab this and then grab these. Now, unfortunately, even Super Saiyan 3 Trunks has started to become a little bit outdated now. Like, he was a unit that could always be a bit annoying to use because he only has a chance to guard. But I've noticed in some of the more difficult events now, like when I was trying to do the Heroes uh, No Item Runs for the Red Ribbon Army Red Zone stages, I didn't use Trunks for, I think, any of them in the end. Because even on a 200% team, even when his guard was actually activating, he was still taking way more damage than I would have liked him to. Uh, even from normal attacks, from like bosses like, you know, the Gammas in the red zone, right? Especially AGL um, Gamma 2. So Trunks is uh, already kind of not really an optimal choice for the team. And then if he doesn't guard, yeah, see, look at that, 140k. So, pretty brutal. Um, this rotation's actually good for us because we didn't get any attacks in slot 1. Now, this Gotenks is still pretty good. Um, in fact, on this rotation, he's getting 100% attack support. Um, I actually might put you in slot 1 because he does need to build up. And obviously, Bardock, because we know he's going to get the guaranteed additional super. Um, there's no way we don't kill uh, this guy here. So, the Super Saiyan 3 team, 5.1 for... Uh, Gotenks here is not bad for his first super on turn one, but yeah, he is getting a lot of attack support. He didn't get the additional super though, which is unfortunate, because um, he needs to attack quite a few times to get fully built up, and then both his uh, attack stats and his defense become quite a fair bit more impressive, but unfortunately not so much the case here. Um, now we can transform you already. Um... Should we just go ahead and do that and then float you off? I think we probably will. So let's go ahead and transform this Goku. Now, Xeno Goku is still pretty good, right? He is a solid EZA. Now, unfortunately, he's not a uh, not a fierce battle unit. Uh, we will get Kamehameha activate, though, once we pick up some key, which is good. Uh, so we'll do this. Uh, grab this. And then we'll grab these the problem of course is that xeno super saiyan 3 goku in order for him to be at his full potential he requires multiple heroes allies and that is the problem going back to what i was saying about trunks as more of these super saiyan 3 units become unusable um especially the heroes ones that makes this xeno goku arguably worse right because you know, it's possible that we will still get some Super Saiyan 3 Heroes units in the future, but they have done, like, most of them, right? We have the Xeno Goku and Vegeta, we have Gotenks, uh, we have Gohanks, uh, we have two different versions of Gotenks, in fact. Uh, we have Trunks, we have Gohan, um, so, I mean, who else is there? And, well, actually, two big Heroes units that do exist in the, in the actual Heroes game as two, like, physical cards you can get, 
I think there's more, I think there's even more than one version of them. Um, there does exist in Heroes a Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta and a Super Saiyan 3 Vegito. So I think that would be sick, right? Because those would be buffs for Fusion slash Patara, Fused Fighters, potentially Final Trump card. Um, that would be pretty cool. And if they were actually good, then obviously there would be units on the team that we could run to buff. Um, oh, this is really awkward. I guess we will just float off. Oh, I can't even get a super for you. See, Bardock is really good for the fact that he has over in a flash and prepared for battle. So it makes it really good for him for linking up with some of these other units. But because some of the heroes units are uh, shattering the limit, um, that would be the only other way we could get key. I guess Golden Warrior and Royal Lineage. Just kind of unfortunate that we have the rotation that we have. So if I grab this and grab these... Uh, what is Gotenks at defense-wise here? 161. Although we're going to get absorbed for the super from Trunks. But then Bardock, especially if we get crits, should be okay. Um, Trunks not being able to super is kind of awkward. At least his guard did activate. But how much does this actually do? Yeah, see, 140k with guard seems really bad for... <laughs> A unit that, I mean, in terms of his role on the team, like Super Saiyan 3 Trunks is basically supposed to be there for defense. So when we're in an event, I mean, this Shadow Dragons event is, you know, far from being considered one of the harder stages. And uh, he's taken that much damage from a super while guarding is uh, a little bit on the awkward side. So Super Saiyan 3, unfortunately, I wanted to do this video just to kind of check in as to where... Super Saiyan 3 as a team kind of was like power level wise, but I, I kind of already suspected, right, that we we wouldn't be seeing anything particularly crazy from this team. Which is a shame because for me personally, like Super Saiyan 3 is one of my favourite forms. Um, I've always loved this team. I love the fact that we got a bunch of heroes, Super Saiyan 3s for characters that we never got to see as a Super Saiyan 3. I also like the fact that even before Heroes was officially like part of Dokkan. They did Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Broly as Dokkan Fest exclusives, which is kind of crazy um, considering like we very rarely get sort of what if or like game crossover character, however you want to describe those two units. It's very rare that we get those uh, at all, let alone as Dokkan Fest exclusives. So I think that is very cool. I would actually love to see another. Dokkan Fest, like Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. I think last year I made a concept for a Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta for Saiyan Day. Um, and I still, like, again, this year, I still think that would be super awesome, right? We've, we've had a Dokkan Fest exclusive Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta before, so it's not outside the realms of possibility. Um, but I think that would be cool. Vegeta family desperately needs more buffs. Um, they don't have a lot of uniquely named characters that are really, really good. That was some big damage on uh, Xeno Vegeta. We actually, we're only going to survive the turn because everybody else on the rotation can tank for double digit damage. So, yeah, unfortunately that Xeno Vegeta, whilst he can do some uh, good damage, his defense is really not very good. And that's just the classic example of when they bring out a Goku and a Vegeta that are very similar, but kind of like parallels of each other. And uh, they make the Goku significantly better than the Vegeta, which is a pretty common occurrence these days so a little bit disappointing but i'm not going to be able to get any tech uh, maybe if i do this so i can't get physical to you anyway i'm probably gonna have to go ahead and use a Whis just in case because even with his damage reduction if um xeno goku gets super attacked at the start here we probably die um so yeah the fact that we almost died i mean obviously if the wrong unit takes a super you can die in these kind of events even with a slightly more powerful team but it should kind of show you the uh, the very poor spot that this team is in at the moment. So, what are more buffs that we could get? So, we obviously talked about the potential for new Super Saiyan 3 Dokkan Fest Vegeta or Bar uh, Broly. It's something that they've done before, so there's definitely no reason why they couldn't do it again. We've already talked about a couple of Heroes units like Gogeta and Vegito. Um, now... Heroes, we, we are very behind the anime, so it takes a long time. When you see a character appear in the promotional anime, it takes a long time for them to actually come to the game, right? But a character that I know a lot of people, including myself, are very excited for is the Timebreaker Mask uh, Goku Black. 
and he obviously transforms uh, into Super Saiyan 3 Rosé. Now, I'm not sure how exactly the game would qualify him for categories and stuff, but you would assume, I would think, that he would be on the Super Saiyan 3 category team. Now, the problem with that assumption uh, is the fact that Super Saiyan Rosé Goku Black, like we have in the game, uh, is not on the Super Saiyan category. So, would Super Saiyan 3 Rosé be on the Super Saiyan 3 category? Like, I would assume, yeah, wow, good work, Trunks. We have a Whis active as well, and Trunks got killed from not guarding. Yay, chance to guard units. Um, yeah, so Super Saiyan 3 Rosé, would he potentially be um, on the Super Saiyan 3 category? Uh, this guy still needs an easy A, and then he could be a pretty good support unit. Currently, he only supports for attack, and then obviously transforms, but we've seen some decent newer great ape units, so I guess that could be pretty cool. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Uh, we've got a couple, but we haven't had a new one for a while. I would quite like us to finally get a fusing Goten and Trunks, um, and they could. I mean, they probably would fuse into just the Super Saiyan Gotenks. So we can have those, like, modern versions of those animations. But them being a Super Saiyan 3 would be pretty cool as well. Uh, these guys still really need easy A's. There's the Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta, the STR one. And this Goku, the AGL. And then, I know, only, I know they only awakened, like, what, at this point it's like a year and a half ago, maybe. Uh, we got this Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta and then this one as well. These guys need easy A's. The, the next big one that I know a lot of people are waiting for, look, here's my spare SA5 copy, is Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I am really, really hoping that this guy gets an absolutely crazy easy A, because the Super Saiyan 3 team desperately needs a buff like this. Um, and it could come alongside a new Super Saiyan 3 Goku, although obviously that'd be kind of awkward for the team in terms of like linking and stuff like that. Um, but like a lot of these Super Saiyan 3 units that do exist, they're either just too outdated at this point um, or obviously too many of them share the same name and that is the problem with Super Saiyan 3 is there are so few characters in the actual show <laughs> that went Super Saiyan 3, that's why we have to supplement the category with units like the Heroes units, Vegito, Bro uh, Broly, like characters that never actually got Super Saiyan 3 in the series, otherwise it would literally all be Gokus and Gotenks. So, Super Saiyan 3 category definitely still needs a lot of help. I mean, you can see from that absolutely shocking run against the Shadow Dragon stage that should not really be very difficult nowadays, that this team can't really handle it. Now, obviously, we're only running the 170 leads. It would be kind of cool to get like a Carnival LR that was uh, Super Saiyan 3 200%, but... Honestly, with Carnival LRs only leading one category, I feel like that'd be a huge waste just because the rest of the category is so weak. Like that celebration, if they released a Carnival LR that was a 200% lead for Super Saiyan 3, they would have to drop easy A's for like every single Super Saiyan 3 unit that still needs one. And those easy A's be good. And then you could justify summoning for that unit. Because otherwise, even if right now, they dropped and I pulled a 200% Super Saiyan 3 like, lead. Who am I going to use on that team? Like, obviously, I'm going to use Bardock. Um, you know, in a shorter event, you can still get away with using this guy. He can still be really good for Super Battle Road. Um, I would still use this guy if I could kind of find the excuse to put more Heroes units on the team. Um, I like this guy. I liked him quite a lot on the Margin Vegeta team when he got a 200% leader skill. So under a 200% lead, he can be decent, but even then, he's not like a top tier TUR. So this category just needs a ton of help. And I think, unfortunately, with the limited number of characters who use the form, like I already said, outside of heroes, we're not really getting huge buffs for this category anymore. So let me know what you guys think down below. What would you do to fix the Super Saiyan 3 category? Who would you like to see released as a new unit? Who would you like to see easy A's for? Let me know all of that down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.